everyone. This is Kathleen Kirkham with Smithfield. We had an awesome opportunity to come out to Colorado State University and meet with one of the nation's leading animal care experts, Dr. Temple Grandin. She and I talked a bit about the history of the pork industry and where she sees it going in the future. So take a listen. Uh, what I have found is that the percentage of people doing a good job, that has drastically increased. But there's still a bottom 10% doing some very rough, very bad stuff. So can you compare the, the social responsibility of hog production and hog processing companies today versus in the 70s and 80s when you first started in your career? When it comes to animal handling, there's light years of difference between handling in the 70s and 80s and handling today. There's still some very bad videos out on the internet, but if you look at overall the whole industry, it's greatly improved. You know, back in the 70s and 80s, I'd estimate only 10 or 20% of people handle animals decently. Now, in the, uh, you know, now within the last 10 years, it's probably gone up to, you know, 60 or 70% doing a really good job. When I started in the 70s, I thought if I could build the, build the perfect magical system that would fix all the problems of people, uh-uh. Some of the worst stuff I ever saw happened, uh, happened during startups because management just did not care. Then I started training managers because the manager is the one that's going to insist employees do things right. Do you think that, that the management change has been what's caused that increase in folks doing it oh, well? Absolutely. I think it's uh, management. Also, and one thing good that the Pork Board has done is things like uh, you know, the Trucker Quality Assurance Program. That's an excellent program. I think those things have been helpful. You know, Industry education programs, I think all of those things have been really helpful.